report's remit was to examine the existing procedures and make recommendations about how they could be improved. And they've certainly come up with plenty. Jersey has a children's custody rate of 26 per 100,000 under 18s. It doesn't sound particularly shocking, but England and Wales have a rate of 23, and other European countries are much lower. It's due to the proportion of children remanded to custody being very high. 80% of youngsters aren't bailed, compared to just 20% in England and Wales. Bearing in mind Jersey doesn't have the inner city problems of other countries, the authors describe it as unacceptably high. So many of their recommendations aim to drastically reduce the number of children in custody. Firstly, the island should raise the age of criminal responsibility from 10 to 14. Children should only be held in custody for genuine reasons of public protection and then within a secure home, such as greenfields. And what of greenfields? It sparked this review in the first place, and the report has lots to say about it. They're confident the Grand Prix system or other forms of solitary confinement are no longer used there. But they describe the staff as divided, with no trust in their management and no training in the standards they should be working towards. Importantly, they say there's no confidence in the mechanism for reporting serious concerns. So another key recommendation is that a more effective whistleblowing policy is introduced, and that it's independent, so not only staff, but the young people in care feel confident they can safely use it. More advice is a reform of the youth court system to make it less formal and more accessible for children. The Scottish system of children's hearings is their example. They suggest Jersey follow Guernsey into adopting a system more like that. Finally, the entire youth justice system needs somebody to be accountable for it. At the moment, the children's executive answers to three ministers. That leaves nobody with clear responsibility. So the Howard League wants either a lead minister to be appointed or the post of a children's minister to be created. Tamara, thank you. Well, despite the criticism, the report says Jersey's in a unique position to transform its youth justice system and provide an international example of good practice. So are the authorities going to implement their recommendations? Well, they say some of the Howard League's proposals are already being dealt with, while others will need more discussion. Adam Fowler has been asking those in charge what changes we can expect. Ministers have thanked the Howard League for penal reform for what they say is a well-structured and well-considered report. They say they're glad that there's so much to commend the system in Jersey and that they've already set about implementing some of the recommendations. Many of them are similar to the Andrew Williamson report which has led to states members putting forward an action plan this coming January. The Home Affairs Minister agrees that children should no longer be held in Lemoy prison and a Minister for Children is being considered. But states members don't agree with all the assertions made by the Howard League. I don't believe there's a real risk to children now, nor do the Howard League. I, I challenge you, Adam, to, to, to point me to the report where they say there's a real risk to children today. I do, I do have it here. It's, uh, it says uh, the recent history of uh, the Greenfield Secure Care Home suggests that there is a very real risk of vulnerable children being mistreated and that strong accountability is required to prevent future difficulties. That's in their uh, summary. Yes, I'll be asking the Howard League who uh, are in Jersey uh, to justify that this afternoon because I do not accept that. But the Howard League insists it's a real possibility. If you're asking me is a child at risk tonight in Greenfields, I don't believe they are. Um, if you're asking me, is the potential there, then yes, there is, because um, our recommendations, particularly those recommendations around independent inspection, checks and balances, an advocacy system so that children can make their complaints heard, um, and a robust and independent whistleblowing policy, these are all things that a, a grown-up system would have. Um, and at the moment, they're not there, and we need those. The Howard League also recommend introducing an independent prosecution service, but that was rejected by the states in November last year. They say that Jersey has the potential to offer an enlightened service that's considerably better than the UK, but unless there are significant changes, that's still a long way off.